Good morning, everybody. Andrea Tarowski here with Dental Well Tutoring. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to study properly and what you can do if you're at the point now in your semester where you had a horrible semester, you might have passed barely, you might have even failed a couple classes, you know, who knows, but you're at a loss because you feel like you have been spending every waking second studying, yet you can't seem to get good marks on your tests, projects, assignments, anything. So I want to talk to you guys about that a little bit because this is the most common problem that students email me with. They email me saying, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't even know if you can help me because I'm in my semester now. So either they have just finished it or they're at the end of their, their um, semester and they're pretty much saying to me, I got horrible marks. I'm barely passing. I need to pick things up, but I don't know how. I don't know what to do differently. So let me tell you guys what you can do differently because there actually are things that you're probably doing wrong and you don't realize it. So you might be looking around you or seeing other students' marks and thinking, okay, well, they are getting like 80s, 90s, yet they're saying that they study the night before. And you might be that person who takes like two weeks to study and you pretty much feel like you are spending every waking second studying, but you're not getting the marks for it. And that reason is likely because you are not studying the right way. So there is such a thing as studying too much and there is such a thing as not studying enough. So there is a fine line. If you're studying like every hour of every day, that is too much. Um, not because you are learning too much, but it's because as a, as a student, as, the, as a human being, if, if that makes sense, you can't do something all the time and then expect to do a good job. Think about it if you were to, you know, work somewhere. If you work 30 hours a day or, you know, whatever, you're doing a lot of work, you're managing, but your performance is probably lacking and you're not doing a good job because eventually you need to take a break. You need to eat, you need to sleep, you need to do something else because then it's a lot harder for you to go back and do the same thing the next day because you're still tired from the day before. You're annoyed because you feel you have had to work so much yet you have to do the same thing over again, even having a um, um, job working full time, nine to five. If you did that all day, every day, and maybe took a vacation every couple years for a couple days, that's it, you will quickly become burnt out. And no matter what you do, you can't do it properly. So for students, it's the same thing. If all you are doing is, you know, thinking school, not having fun, you're working on homework, projects, tests, assignments, everything, all day, every day, then nothing you do will be at its full potential. Now, I say this too, though, as a, stu as a um, student, you do have to think, well, this is my life now. You will not be able to go out every single night you will not be able to, you know, have as much fun as the people around you who aren't in school, but you should still do something else. You should still take a break. It makes a big, big difference because unfortunately, once you reach that point where you're not passing a lot of your classes, you're, you are studying so much where you don't know how to, you know, change that and your marks just aren't up to par. Once you get to that point, you quickly become, not angry, but you quickly become um, discouraged. So you think, okay, now I don't know what to do because I have tried so hard. It's kind of too late because I'm not passing. How can I pick this up, this up? Like, I don't know where to even start. That can be hard for people to pick themselves up again, but that's what you have to do. You have to put all of that in the past, and, and um, from here on in, you have to work hard, st um, study properly, study in a way where you are actually um, focused, 
and doing it properly. You know, stop thinking like, well, if I couldn't pass the first time, I don't see how I'm going to pass the second time because now there's more on the test. You know, don't think negative, think positive. Think everything happened in the past, tomorrow's a new day, and now is the time to get started. But you also have to change things, meaning stop studying every single hour of every single day. Okay, so for studying, six, six hours maximum is, is how much you should be studying. Not, you know, eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, all night, no. And never wake up early to study. You need your sleep. If you can, try not to study past seven o'clock. Your evenings should be for, you know, eating, for recharging, for watching a movie, reading a magazine, anything like that. Now this, this does depend though on your schedule. For me as a student, I didn't have a choice. I pretty much had to study after a certain point because I would go to work um, right away after school and I'd be done at around 1130 at night. So what I actually did was I would manage to get my studying done on the way to work because I had to take um, the subway that took about an hour, maybe 45 minutes to get to work. So that's when I would plan it in. Um, but then also sometimes when I got home, yes, it might be midnight, but I wasn't tired. So I would study a little bit and that would pretty much put me to sleep right away. So it depends on you as a person too, sort of when you study the most effectively. But overall, I do suggest not waking up early, you know, no waking up at two in the morning, none of that. No studying until one in the morning and then trying to sleep after that. Try not to do that. But I do understand if you have kids, you have other things you have to do. That may be your, your um, only chance to study. But if possible, you guys, hire uh, somebody to watch the kids. Ask the husband, ask you know the wife to watch your kids for a couple hours they will be fine, okay? I don't have kids, so I can't speak from where you're coming from, but you know what, you guys? This is an investment into your future. You do not want to pay all of that money and then not be able to pass your classes and then you have to drop out because you can't pass, right? Um, but every situation is different, so if you need help with this, please let me know. Please send me an email. Um, if you need even more help, um, feel free to have a look into the um, Dental L student program because I will tell you guys exactly what to study each week. We have um, tutoring lessons every single Sunday online. So if you have questions, need help, need a pep talk, need anything, I am always here to help. There's modules um, uploaded online. You have tons of information. So there are plenty of ways to study properly, okay? So if you guys need anything, let me know. I do hope this helped because um, I did decide to hop on and do the video because I probably had at least five students emailing me um, over the weekend with the same problem, saying I'm almost done my semester. I want to start the new year and do a, a good job. I want to actually pass everything. I want to do a better job, but I don't know how to change things to be able to reach that. So I do hope this helped. Um, every situation is different. So if you need help, just do not hesitate to let me know. See you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.